Yo, what's happening with it, family? Salute to the people. Salute to the Black Goose family, man. You already know why we here. You already know why you're here. If y'all can hear it in the background, I got the fight going. Ryder just took the W, unanimous decision. Easy fight for him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got Triple G, Sarah's a meta up next. I'm ready for that joint. I'm ready. But as always, man, I want to salute the people. If you're not part of the family, hit that subscribe button. Hey, let me uh, let me check the sound as always. Let me do the sound check because, you know, for some reason right now, my headphones ain't giving me the best sound. So I just want to make sure at least the sound coming out. Good on y'all and but salute to the people, man. We hear it up. Let me make sure this this joint on point real quick. Let me turn that off right there. But you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be interesting to see how Triple G's looking, man. That's all I want to see. I want to see how Triple G's about to look, man. I want to see if we're gonna get that, you know, Canelo Triple G, that fresh triple G, you know, get up in the morning look like, you know, that Danny Jacob Triple G, or we're gonna get, you know, the the Derek Chenko triple G, the Steve Rose Triple G. Which one we gonna get? You know, the Derek Chenko Triple G, the Steve Rose Triple G. Yeah, okay. The sound the sound sounds crispy. I'm fucking with it. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so if y'all up in here, man, hit that subscribe button. I may turn this down just a little bit. I feel like we get a little too much static, but hit that subscribe button, man. Show some love. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like button if you're up in here, man. Show some love, God damn it. But we here, man. We here. I wasn't able to catch the card for this fight. Um, You know what I'm saying? I was at work. Had to do that thing. So I'm just now getting back. I got back maybe about five minutes ago. And, you know, obviously, first thing I did, turn this joint on, got this shit ready, make sure, you know what I'm saying, it got me a little something that I could sip on and enjoy, you feel me? You know? Mm-hmm. And we here, man, watching the fight, man. So, you know, as we know, man, we got a double header. basically. We got back-to-back -back fights, man, today. We got Triple G fight tomorrow. We got Canelo, you know what I'm saying? If anybody cares, you know, you also got that Wonder Boy versus GF Neal card. That entire card is crazy, so... Um, y'all make sure y'all rock with me tomorrow because my goal tomorrow is I'm going to watch the entire, uh, at, at the very least the main card. I'm going to watch the entire main card. I do want to see the Pettis fight to an extent, but to be honey with you, I really won't care if I miss that fight. So most likely I'm going to go live for the whole main card, of, uh, G, uh, GF Neal versus, uh, Wonder Boy. And, uh, and then of course I'm going to still be live for that Columbus Smith, uh, Canelo fight. So that's happening tomorrow tonight. You know what I'm saying? It's like we're getting a, it's the appetizer triple G going up in there. I know a lot of people may. You know, they may say, uh, you know, we don't, you don't really know who Sarah's Met, excuse me, Sarah's Meta is. You know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not really sure, you know, how good he is, what type of test this is. Uh, you know, w w even if that's the case, um, I don't really think this is about Triple G's opponent, if you want me to be real. And, I, and that sounds real, you know, disregarding toward uh, a Sarah's Meta. It's not, it's, I'm, I'm not, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm not disregarding. I'm talking about the narrative of the fight. Uh, if you just want to look at it from a uh, promoter standpoint. Uh, from a money standpoint, um, you know, we all know how boxing is. Boxing's political. And that's basically what, what we're seeing right now with this doubleheader with Triple G versus Sergio Mineta and then Canelo versus Colum. You know what I'm saying? All this is going to be being set up for. By the way, Canelo looks, you know, I'm looking at the weigh-ins right now. Uh, they're showing, well, they're doing a weigh-ins preview. Excuse me. Uh, for Canelo and Colum. So, I mean, Canelo looks way bigger than Colum. You know, yeah, you know, you see the size advantage when it comes to height and the reach. But if we, when we're talking about weight classes, the only thing that matters is weight. Right. Some people be like, nah, that's crazy, man. If, if, if this person got it. Oh, they played me. They played me, man. Oh, my God, bro. There is a fight in between Triple G. The Triple G series of Medicard. I thought the co-main event was John Ryder. That's what I was led to believe. And the zone does it again. They throw around, and this joint is ten rounds. Maybe I just didn't. Maybe I just didn't know the actual. Uh, maybe I just didn't know the actual lineup. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe that this this has been presented this way. It from just from what I was looking up. From what I was looking up, it made it seem like John Ryder versus. Um, uh, excuse, I don't remember the, the young man's name. He just fought, but they made it seem like John Ryder was a co-main event. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I killed my whole workout. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't even able to get through my whole workout and, and, and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I couldn't get through my whole workout. And then I, on, on top of that, I, I you know, a motherfucker had to uh, 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 rush home. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and here I find out I had a whole nother fight I could have waited on. So I could have finished my workout. I didn't have to rush none of my shit. And I could have made it in time. This is very disappointing. I'm disappointed right now. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This might, this might fuck up my whole energy for the rest, of the rest of the fight. 
Like, goddamn. That's some bullshit. But it's all good, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. We here. We doing. We 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 we, we going to just rock through this. I'm pretty sure they're trying to uh, promote Cho Cho. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. He on me, Choi. Ho hopefully, I said that correctly. But we here though, man. It is what it is, man. We're gonna go ahead and rock through this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna trip about it. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not familiar with neither of these boxes right here. I'm not fam familiar with neither of these fighters. It's all good though. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not I'm not tripping much. Maybe maybe we end up seeing, you know what I'm saying? Like they they goal is by I think because I've seen Eddie Hearn do this, man. He's done it uh with that one dude. Um, what's his name? Uh Nicola. Uh I, I forgot his name, but uh he he's he's done it with that him many times. His nickname is White Chocolate. But they they they've done that multiple times with him. I remember it, it, you know, I would assume that it's about to be the next fight. You know, it's supposed to be the main event, and then they plug another fight. But usually that's only like four or six rounds, man. It's the first time I've seen a 10 round fight this way. Or, like I said, it could just easily be the fact that, uh, you know, whatever I may have seen, you know, it actually presented the the lineup the wrong way. And sometimes it does that. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying, you look at information and it ain't what it is. So that could have been the case. I don't know. Uh, but hopefully it's going to be worth it, man. Because uh, I was ready for Triple G versus Sarah's Metam next, man. I really was. Yeah, so she's 19 and 11. She look old too, man. Not to be disrespectful. That sounded that sounded to be disrespectful. But she look she 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 look a little bit on the older side, I should say. There's nothing wrong with that. I just, you know, to an extent I question where they found her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so she's 17 and 0. Okay. So we know this is a this we know this is set up to kind of, you know what I'm saying? All right. But we still got some time, man. So salute to the people. Okay. My stream kind of went ghost on me. That's how it goes sometimes, though. But, man, yeah, so we got another fight in between uh, the Triple G, Sarah Meta. You know what I'm saying? I thought the co made of it was John Ryder, but I guess not. But hopefully, you know what I'm saying? We got a 10 and over. So, it, what was it, 13 and, and 11 or something like that? Or 18 and 11, excuse me. Don't want to disrespect. Uh, her record, but you know, what I'm saying she, she. I'm pretty sure this is a, this is a showcase right here. Damn, I don't know what's going on with my shit, man. Like I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get my shit on the right thing, but I'm like, man, it's it's it's, it's one act crazy today. Like I don't, I don't even understand why it's doing that, but it's giving me time to find out though. But salute to the people, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully y'all was uh y'all been enjoying y'all 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 Friday. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Christmas is coming up, all that good stuff. You know, tomorrow's gonna be a hell of a day. Oh, so I'm like I'm like everything on some bullshit right now. Okay, you can't even. But I'm like, yeah, it it, 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 it makes sense. They they probably knew. It's like, man, nobody want to watch this fight. Surging through the chat. Oh no, there it go. It's back up. But I guess it's about like four or five rounds. This is this is an interesting stream that I'm on, man. There ain't no announcers. I like it that way, though. I like when there's no announcers. I like when I'm just watching straight action. But you can hear the corners too, man. You can hear the corners. So I like that. So I'll be interested on the triple G versus Sarah's a meta fight. You know what I'm saying? What they're gonna be saying. Still got a whole fight though left, you know what I'm saying? Second round. 
she in here with a journey, man. You can see they showing uh Hey, you know what I just realized? That's crazy. There must be another series of meta because I think the information that I had and the information that I looked up was wrong. So excuse me, if y'all see my stream and I was showing highlights to someone else, because that's what I was doing, I realized that. Because the dude that I had, uh, he was he had like a big ass tattoo on his chest. And see, I've never seen Sarah's a uh, meta fight before, so shit. It's a good one too right there. Oh yeah, she gonna stop her most likely. Choi, man. Choi, WBA super featherweight. This is who the zone is building up. Oh, but that uppercut in that left hook from uh so Gato got in. That one two was nice though from uh Choi. Choi, if, if she just one two that up, you know what I'm saying? Throw that combination good four times in a row. They all gonna land because uh Silgado's there to get hit and she's slow and she looks old, man. Oh, she got hit by something in the body. Oh, she's about to give up. That was weird, man. All right, I was talking shit. You know what I'm saying? I was saying this is going to be a weak fight or something. What's going on? They messing up over here, man. Y'all better get your shit together. Oh. Yo, why they keep on? Wait. Hey, they got the time off, yo. There was still one minute left in the round. What's going on? How y'all ending the round? There was a whole minute, ten seconds left, yo. They they fucking up over here, man. They get their shit together. I know she would have kept going to the body, but she's there hurt. She there to get hit herself. But yeah, I just seen the first minute round. God damn it. That time, whoever who's keeping track of the time and whoever's doing the ringer, man, they're not on the same page. Y'all need to get them on the same page, man. A lot of bullshit happening. Choi, though, uh, she hit Delgado with a good body shot, though, but she ain't see it. She ain't see it. It's like she hit it to the body. I'm just, I'm just going to be real with you. I'll say Delgado, Silgado, excuse me. Didn't mean to mess up a name like that. That's disrespectful. Silgado, she looks old, man. I don't know how old she is. But she looks like she's about 40. I'm sorry. She moved like it too, man. Choi got to be careful, though. She going up in there. She taking shots. Oh, she's getting hit with some big shots, man. Oh, that was a good body shot from Choi. Use your range. Good body shot. There you go. Because she keeps stepping in and getting hit with that uh, hook or that uppercut. I'm like... Throw your shit. At, there you go. Use your range. That's nice. Okay. Okay. She got to keep that hand up, though. She's going to get countered with that hook all day. Short looking a little bit better, though. I got to give it to her. That's how you got to do it. You got to pick it up. Start using that range. She was looking rough in the first two rounds. This is a super featherweight championship. I didn't know that. I didn't think that was it. I just realized that. I, th I didn't think this was for the belt. I thought they were building Choi up. So maybe maybe excuse my um my lack of knowledge on Choi. Because uh, apparently she's been doing some big things to get to the belt, right? She gets hit a lot, though. I'm not going to lie to you. She doesn't have very good defense. Choi, great offense, though. Great hands. Good speed. But defense, man. Not that good. Silgado, so man, I, I got. I'm interested. Oh, she be throwing some bombs though. For being old, Silgado so throws some bombs. I'll give her that. Right hand over the top. Silgado so said, "I got hit on the back of the head." Come on now. Silgado so be throwing them uppercuts, boy, with bad intentions. Not worried about getting counted at all. God damn. Hell of a first round, though. Uh, my bad. Hey, not at the first round. It's like the fourth round, something like that. Not a bad fight, though, man. If you want me to be real, it's not a bad fight. I'm actually I'm, I'm, I'm actually entertained. I actually think this was a better choice of a fight than the John Ryder fight because I didn't get to see a lot of it. But the little bit I saw the John Ryder fight, man, it was kind of it was kind of weak, man. In my opinion.
that miss spraying them with that miss that probably worked good man salute to the people though man if y'all up in here man y'all ain't hit that like button man stop disrespecting the chat hit that like button if y'all ain't subscribed to the family subscribe to the family man we watching triple g series of meta right now we got Delgado versus troy and i'm gonna tell you right now these two ladies showing out they showing out that it's a good goddamn fight it's a good goddamn fight i'm enjoying it i criticized it at first I said, man, this came out of nowhere. Eddie Hearn is doing that shit again, man. He's just trying to promote one of his fighters. But nah, man, this is for the championship belt. Oh, good right hand over the top. That was beautiful from Troy. Oh, that one hurt. That one, I know, y'all, she's trying to survive. It's over for Delgado. My bad, Silgado. I don't know why I keep calling it Delgado. She trying to survive that right hand over the top. Fucked her up. Man, all Troy got to keep doing is just pumping that jab out and throw that right, man. It's landing every time. That's nice. I think she got head buddy right in the nose. Ah, oh, so Gato trying to find a way out. She said, ah. Oh. She did get head buddy though. But it was accidental though. It wasn't on purpose. You you leaned into it. You keep trying to hold. She might have broke her nose. She might have broke her nose. Let's see if she let's see if she finds a way out. Let's see if she's like, fuck this. She said, give her a second. She said, don't rush me. She might have broke her nose, man. It's over right here. It's over. She don't want it no more, man. She just told her, man. Her whole body language was doing all that shit, blowing at her, man. She just told her everything. Troy, but you should finish this fight right here in this round. There's no way you should go past this. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Just double up that, 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 that right hand on her. Oh, man. Troy must not hit that hard, man. There's no way Selgado should be... Oh, that uppercut, though, was nice. But that left hook, that counter from Troy. See, when she's she switching angles on that, man, she got to throw something. Because she's just letting she's, she's letting Sogato recover, man. Every time Sogato's hurt, she, she's allowing, him to rec- uh, allowing her to recover. You got to follow that up with something. Come on, now. But who am I to tell her, man? She a champion, goddammit. It's good work, though, from uh, Troy. Troy, Troy got to chill out, though, man. Sometimes she be going up in there with her head down, just swinging. Like, manage your range. See where you at. You can finish it easy. Okay, so so Gato got them heavy hands, huh? Last five wins by knockout. That's impressive. Oh, that was a good body shot. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know if she's going to be able to get Sogato out of there, man. Sogato looks like a tough son of a motherfucker, but she keep complaining about all of this shit, man. Complained about the head, but supposedly she's getting hit in the back of the head. Look, you got to fight through that, man. Can't keep trying to stop the fight for that shit. That's all I'm saying. And that, that, that gives me the impression that she wants to get up out of there. But Choi ain't capitalizing. Choi's winning the fight. Like, she's winning the fight easily. Oh, that left hook. But then right after came, okay, so it wasn't on Sogato. It was on Choi. She, she leaned in with that head right there. That's the thing about Troy, though. She be she she seems to be off balance a lot, and I think it's because of the uh, <clears throat> does she be rhythm rhythm stepping? You know what I'm saying? Hey, right, but salute to the people, man. We here it's Friday night, man. You know what I'm saying? We got a little appetizer tomorrow. Is the main course with Canelo and uh, Canelo and Young uh, uh, Colum Smith, man. That's gonna be a good fight right there. I'm gonna put down that light a little bit right there. But we're feeling good, man. We're having a good time. We're chilling. You know what I'm saying? Y'all you know what it is. Look, he just said what I was saying. She complaining a lot. I don't know nothing about the tough fight because I ain't seen the last fight. But she is. I feel like it's a little bit too much. I feel like she's trying to find a way out. So I'm like, Troy just got to stay on that gas pedal, man. Hey, yo, what's good with it? It's snipers, man. Uh, yeah, man, it is. It definitely is. 
I'll say this though. I'll say this. It's better than what I expected. At least the first three rounds. Now, you know what I'm saying? I need Troy to go ahead and get Delgado uh Silgado up out of there, man. Cause I think uh she's she's milking the time a little bit, man. But I'm telling you, this fight was supposed to happen. First, it was slated to be in January, and then they said February, then they said March, March 19th. I remember they said it was a fine. They've been talking about this since last November, December, and we got it now, a whole year later. That's crazy. That's why I'm interested in hell. I want to see how Triple G is going to look, man. What type of Triple G we going to look? Are we going to get the Triple G of Rose and, uh, and Devitenko? Are we going to get the Canelo, the Danny Jacobs, you know what I'm saying, the, the Kell Brook Triple G? Yeah, he would have to. I'm like, the only way, because I'm like, this is what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, there's a reason why they have the them fighting the way they have been fighting. You know what I'm saying? Triple G tonight, Canelo tomorrow. So I'm thinking if Triple G really does, like really, he just, he dominates Sarah's Medetta. You know what I'm saying? Knocks him out cold, which that's my prediction. My prediction is fifth round KO from Triple G, but just knocks him out cold, looks amazing. I think what's going to end up happening they're going to fly Triple G out to Dallas, Texas, or wherever the fuck the Triple G Columbus Smith fight is. He's going to be in the audience. He's going to be watching. And then, you know what I'm saying, once Canelo gets the W against Colum, they're going to meet in the ring, and that's the next fight we're going to see for next year because there's big money there. Yeah, man, COVID messing up a lot of things. Because I'm like, man, COVID still rapid too, man. That's the thing. But I'm ready, man. I just want to see what Triple G we get. Because Sarah's, Sarah's, I don't know much about Sarah's Meta, okay? I don't know much. I'm going to be 100 with you. Um, I did a little bit of research. Not enough, though. Because I ended up finding out some of my research was false. Like, I'm, 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 I'm 100. Some of my research was false. I didn't know this. I, I, I was looking at the wrong dude. There's two dudes with very similar names. And some of, them, some, of the, some of the highlights I was watching, that wasn't him. So I'm not really sure how this is going to go. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing to base officers and said I never seen a fight. It's basically gonna be my first time. So and maybe I have seen them and I just don't remember. You know what I'm saying? That could easily be it too. But you know what I'm saying? I know for one, if he's durable, I know they're trying to knock each other out. I like this right here. Like, come on now, pick it up. I'll give Silgato that. She she's a tank. She keeps going, and she looks old to me, man. Like, Silgado definitely looks like she's in her 40s. There's no way she can be. I don't care what it, what it says. She looks like she's in her 40s. That's not disrespectful. I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just being 100. Oh, that uppercut. She did a little circle with it right there. Silgado looked like she getting in the groove, man. That uppercut was cold. Ooh, oh, <laughs> Silgado's uppercuts is cold, man. She was just throwing crazy before, but now them joints is landing. Oh, that right hand from Sogato. Yeah, Troy taking too much dampness now, man. She got to be careful. She getting look. She she getting that work put on her a little bit. But oh look, see the announcers ain't agreeing with me. They saying Sogato's getting work. I don't know. I think she's doing a little bit better this round. First five rounds she got work. This round she's doing a little bit better. But yes, yeah, so I don't really know what type of fighter Sarah's a Meta is, so I don't know what I can expect. But if he's a durable fighter. If he puts the pressure, he comes forward, and he and he's a high output puncher. That's going to be trouble for Triple G because that's what he struggled with. Davidchenko, similar style. You know, Rolls not necessarily. You know, he did he did a number on Rolls, but I still didn't feel like he looked his best though. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he could have looked a lot better. That's my opinion. You know, I think the best he's looked obviously was against. Uh, Canelo in the first fight, and then the Danny Jacobs fight, he looked amazing. You know what I'm saying? Because Danny Jacobs at that time, you know what I'm saying? He was he he he, he, he was he was he was top he was top of the food chain, man. Top of the food chain easily. Now I don't know. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't had the greatest show in his last couple of fights, but he has moved up in weight. Maybe that's a big thing. It is what it is. 
But he looks good, man. If y'all seen the weigh-ins, you know what I'm saying? Triple G looked great. He looked great. You know, it looked like he, he got a lot of that, uh, you know, stubbing belly fat off that maybe we saw him have last couple fights. Looks thin, slimmer. You know, obviously, you know, one of the big things that he wanted to do with Banks was change his style to the extent where he has more than one style to go by. Like, he can come forward, use his jab, but also he can be a little swaggy with it. He can slip, you know, counter punch, use his feet, use his angles, you know, rather than just kind of just hunt you down and, and power through everything. Because, you know, you understand, too, at a point you're getting older. So it's not necessarily like you're losing a step or more so is, you know, what I'm saying I got to have more than one thing in the tank because maybe sometimes I don't want to take as much damage. And maybe to the judges, that's what the judges like to see a little bit more. So obviously, if that's the case, it's not you have to be lighter, but you have to be a little bit more better conditioned. And that may have been the problem. Also, the fact that, you know, what I'm saying he is trying out a new style the last two fights, why he looked a little bit slower than usual to get started. But either way it goes. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be interesting. Triple G, you know what I'm saying? He ain't fought since that Rose fight. That's uh, that was that was that's over, you know, about a year probably now. That's a long time off. So let's see if that how that factors in. I don't, I don't know the last time there was a meta fight. I don't. So we're going to see. Y'all ain't here, by the way. Y'all ain't hit that like button, man. Hit the like button. Show some love. We here. We chilling. You know what I'm saying? Happy Friday to everybody. Hope y'all enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, man. I had a cool day. You know, I can't lie, man. My day was solid. Yeah, but Derevchenko was, remember, Derevchenko was before, um, and then he fought Rose. I think I'm saying the same thing, right? Steve Rose. And I believe that was, if I'm not wrong, that was last year, right? That was like last December, last November, I think. Because I remember they were talking about him fighting Sarah Mazetta in like February, March. So I'm like, his last fight had to have been like last November. Oh, Rose was before? Okay. Okay. Okay, so I got those two mixed up. So when did he fight Derevchenko? Did he fight uh late November, December? Or was it uh, the beginning of this year? It's very interesting seeing the difference in styles, man, that, you know, Jonathan wants him to be on what he's so used to. Like, more, he's trying to he's trying to add a little bit more swag, utilize a little bit more of those combination punches, letting his hands go a little bit more. I like it. I think Triple G can easily do that, man, with the power, the way he the way he moves, man. I think that's a great style to add to it. It just seems like, is it too, too little too late? That's what someone is saying. Okay, yeah, so it was October. So Derevchenko was his last fight. Um, me, I thought, I thought Triple G. Um, I thought I, I haven't really. I may just do those on live. So I may, I may do that tomorrow. Um, not tomorrow, Sunday. Sunday, rewatch the Triple G Derevchenko fight because from what I remember watching, I thought Derevchenko won. I thought Triple G did not look good in that fight. Uh, Rosie looked a little bit better, but against Derevchenko, he did not look good. So. Um, you know, that's 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 over a year he hasn't fought. So, you know, some would say that's a good thing because he let his body rest. And if you're picking up a new craft, you know, someone who's as experienced as him, someone who's had as much, you know, ring knowledge, ring time, he doesn't necessarily need the ring in order to implement a strategy. It's more so muscle memory that he has to start implementing and starting to, you know, retain. And so I think, you know, him being able to have that year to train, spar focus on that particular style i think that's going to do good for him more so than some people may think it'll do bad yo what's good with it what's happening with it story i hope i'm saying that right salute to the people we up in here man round eight of Choi versus Ogato. I think it's a, if we're rating it one out of 10, I'd give it probably like a five and a half. So it's not necessarily boring, but it's definitely not something that's going to keep your attention the whole entire time. Choi's winning the fight. So Gato's landing big shots. You know, it's a, it's, 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 it's a solid fight. It's a solid fight. But if y'all up in here, man, y'all hit that like button, man. Hit the like button. Show some love. You know what I'm saying? Salute to the people. 
Hit the subscribe button if you ain't subscribed. So salute to that. That's the end of round eight. Round nine, we're getting close to the Triple G action, man. Hope y'all been enjoying your Friday. Hope y'all, you know what I'm saying, got the weekend coming up, man. Got a, got a, got a double header tomorrow, man. Got the Canelo, Columbus Smith fight. Can't wait for that shit. The whole Wonder Boy GF nil card is crazy. We'll be out here. I think, though, I think we're going to have a hell of a fight on our hands. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't really know Sarah's a uh, fighting style, I haven't seen him fight before, and if I have, I just don't remember. No disrespect. Just from how he looks... I'm like, man, he looks like a motherfucker who's going to bring some, who's going to bring it. He's going to bring the game. You know what I'm saying? So I think he's going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to still stick with my prediction, even though my prediction was based off of, you know, false knowledge and false, uh, uh, what should I say? Uh, false detective work or analyst. Either way it goes, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to still stick to a fifth round KO from Triple G. You know what I'm saying? I think Triple G is going to look better than ever. I think the time off is going to be absolutely amazing for him. I think he's going to I think he's going to be putting his combinations together. I think he's going to be looking for the big shots. I think he's going to be landing the big shots now. I think he's going to take a little bit to start up. I think it's going to take a couple rounds before we start seeing that swag. But I think after the couple rounds, you know, three rounds, you know what I'm saying? I think Triple G is going to start pulling away doing some crazy shit. That's that's my prediction. And that's what I'm going to start doing. And I'm like, from now on, I'm going to give y'all real predictions. Because I won't lie. Sometimes I'll be giving some bullshit predictions just because I'll be hoping for an upset. But no, from, from here on out, I'm giving real predictions all the time. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know my Canelo Columbus Smith prediction. I'll talk about that when we're there tomorrow. The GF Neil Wonderboy prediction, man. That's going to come up tomorrow. That's going to be a hell of a fight. Greg Hardy's on that card. I got to see that. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm watch that whole card, Joe. I ain't seen a card like that in a minute where I'm like interested in the whole card. That whole card is crazy. The whole main card, at least. And I'm, I'm going to be watching that. I'm going to be here. So if y'all here tonight, man, y'all better fuck with me tomorrow, God damn it. But salute to the people, man. Ninth round. Thank God. <laughs> I won't lie. This shit is getting dragged out. I feel like Choi had a couple chances to finish this fight, and she just didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? She just didn't do it. And, you know what I'm saying, you know, salute to Silgato for motherfuckers staying up in there. And not only just staying up in there, throwing big shots. Like, just even right now, she throwing big shots, boy. She trying to knock that dome off. So, goddamn, you know. But it's a little bit, it's too little too late. Silgato, you've lost a little bit too many rounds. You know, Troy done done this. And I'm telling you, man, Silgato, she looking at least 40-something. 40 40-something 40 up in there doing a the thing. That may not be her exact age. I may be wrong on that joint. That's all good. That's not disrespectful. I'm just saying, you got a, a considerably older fighter doing some work. Y'all hear about Dillian White was saying he wants Luis Ortiz? <laughs> okay, please take my money. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to see that. Like, I've been like, come on, man. Like, we need to see more of these PBC guys fighting these zone guys, man. Like, we need some more of these crossover. Bring these guys from the U.K. over to the States. Bring some of these dudes from the States over to the U.K., man. Let's do it. Dillian White for Luis Ortiz. That's a hell of a fight right there, God damn it. You know? You know, Derek Trezor says he wants Joe Joyce. I say bring that fight on. I love that. That'll be a hell of a fight. Because Trezor is going to, Trezor loves fighting them taller guys, man. He loves it because the overhand rights there all day. You know what I'm saying? And Joe Joyce is going to be there to get hit. So if Joe Joyce can take that overhand right from Trezora. You know, I'm going to pick Joe Joyce. I think Joe Joyce, man, at the point he's at right now, only the best is going to beat him. So, you know, I think I don't think it's a smart move for Joe Joyce to call out Usyk. I don't think he beats Usyk. Not yet. I think Usyk does a number on him. 
you know what I'm saying? Oh, good work from Troy. But to be real, the fight I want to see next, I want to see Joshua versus Usyk. This referee, man. I don't really like this referee, man. You got to take control in this joint. You know what I'm saying? But uh, um, I want to see Joshua versus Usyk. It must just, you know what I'm saying? I feel like Joshua did some great work against Pulev, man. I, had, I respect that. I respected what he did, you know. He did some. He, he did very impressive things. As much as I feel like Fury, you know what I'm saying, versus uh, as much as I, I think Fury versus Water is a hell of a fight. As much as I think Fury versus Josh was a hell of a fight. I think I, I, I think I'd rather see Fury versus Wilder three. That's me. Just because of the beef behind it, all the bullshit in between it. You know what I'm saying? All the allegations. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that would be the fight. That'd be the fight that sells the most money, man. Because I'm like, that's just what you want to see. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's my opinion. Y'all could be like, okay, now nah, I feel a different way. I'd rather see, you know, Joshua versus Fury. But I want to see Lobo. I want, I want to see Josh. I want to see Joshua versus Usyk. Like, that's the shit to, that's the shit to watch. You know what I'm saying? But Troy, Troy, Troy versus Silgato was done. You know what I'm saying? Finally, no disrespect. But uh, Troy, he, she definitely won that joint. You know what I'm saying? I got to give it to her um, pretty, pretty, pretty easily. Um, but we here, man. We close. We almost we, we almost got Triple G coming into action, man. You know this fight. They're gonna announce the winner, uh, and then you know we're gonna slowly make our way toward the Triple G fight, man. That's what we've been here for, man. That's what we've been waiting on. You heard? And uh, so salute to that, man. If y'all, by the way, if y'all up in here, man, and y'all hit that like button, man. I don't know what's wrong with you. So hit that like button for me. All right. Subscribe to the channel if y'all not subscribed. And make sure if y'all here tonight, man, make sure y'all rock with me tomorrow, too. We're going to be doing the same goddamn thing with Canelo versus Columbus Smith. Because that's going to be a hell of a night. And I'm going to be watching Jeff Neal versus Wonderboy. We got fights, baby. We got fights happening. So salute to that, man. Salute to the people. And salute to it being goddamn Friday night, man. Friday night, man. Christmas time is almost here. All that good shit. You always get the best fights at the end of the year, man. The best fights at the end of the year. And it's low ball of blessing in disguise that they moved the Ryan Garcia Luke Campbell fight. Because we would have been getting low ball. That would have been too much, man. That would have been a fighting overload, man. Because we would have got that, I think, this weekend or next weekend or something like that. Now we're getting into January. That's good. Because usually the beginning of the year is the slowest time for good fights. I always hate that. The beginning of the year, man, it'll be shit when it comes to fight. But now we got some shit, man. We're going to have Ryan Garcia, Luke Campbell. Connor versus uh, Poirier. It's probably some more shit I don't even know about. Oh, we got Caleb Plant versus Caleb Trulix. So we got some shit, man. We got some. We got some good shit happening in January. That's rare, man. That's real rare. Yeah, that was a clean sweep by Choi, man. That was easy work. You don't even gotta. You didn't got to do the announcements, man. Sometimes I'll be like, man, why even do the whole scorecard? Just be like, look, y'all, this shit was easy work. Choi won. So God to look at it like she looked dis like not necessarily disappointed, but she looked surprised. Like, how? What? Fuck this hoe. Huh. Easy work. Troy versus Mayor. I don't know who Mayor is. And I just found out who Troy is. So it's probably going to be a hell of a fight. A hell of a fight, man. A hell of a fight. So salute to that. We almost here, man. We almost got that time. I know we've been here. We've been rocking. We've been bowling. We've been waiting for the fight to watch. Look, she, hold, she held her whole joint right there. But yeah, man, but it's almost that time, man. Goddamn what we've been waiting for, man. Cap off Friday night. Make sure you're right. Them uppercuts from Salgado was nasty, though. You got to give it to him, man. Them uppercuts was a piece of work.
Yeah, I didn't think she was going to go the distance neither. I got to be 100 with you. I did not think that was going to happen in no type of way. The way I saw it, I thought so God it was going to be out of there pretty quick. But nah, man. 163 landed from Juan Mi Choi. Throwing 552. Kalista Silgado, 89, landed 364. Pretty close. Pretty close. Not really. But here we go, man. Finally, goddammit, we got the main event coming up in this joint. Took long enough, man. Because I could have swore John Ryder was a co-main event. Y'all told me John Ryder was a co-main event. And y'all lied to me. But it's cool, man, because I'm still here. Because... I've been waiting for. See, I was just talking about this. Canelo versus Smith, December 19th. Garcia versus Campbell is on January 2nd. The 30th, Kolo, uh, excuse me, Kovalev versus Melikov Ziv. I don't know if I'm going to watch that. I may watch that. We'll see. Probably because there's probably going to be something else happening. Then, of course, and I show when it kind of versus uh, uh, Poirier, you got uh, uh, um, Kayla Plant versus Truix. Uh, and there's probably some other ones happening in January, too. I'm just not aware of it. You know, aware of it. The only time it's going to be a stalemate is going to be next weekend. Next weekend, I don't think there's no fights next weekend. Nothing. So, I might do do, do some rewatches that weekend. So, we're going to see what happens. But now, man, I don't know what this is right now. I don't give a goddamn about this shit right here. I don't even know what's going on. Hopefully though, man, y'all enjoying y'all night, man. Y'all, 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 y'all keeping it cool, man. Y'all keeping it classy. Oh man, I didn't even see Joe. I just seen he seen that comment, man. My bad. I know it's late, but what am I watching the fight on? I'm watching this joint on uh the zone. I got the DAZN app. Because the zone be putting on the big fights. You know what I'm saying? But let's be real though, man. Sometimes they be taking just too goddamn long. Like maybe I'm feeling this way tonight simply because I thought it was going to start at a certain time and it didn't start. That's all good. I'm not tripping. That's how it goes sometimes. But I'm like, That's, that's probably why. I'm going to be real with you. That's probably why. I did not expect that last fight. I thought we was going to be watching the main event right then and there. But it's all good. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. We rock. We roll with it. We slide. We, you know what I'm saying? We, we go with it. We ain't, we ain't tripping. It ain't nothing. So it's all good. The, you know what I'm saying? The Choi versus uh, Silgato fight wasn't terrible. Like I said, I gave it like a five and a half. It's not terrible. But also, it wasn't great. Nowhere near. But here we go, man. As soon as the walkout start, I'm going to let y'all know because it's coming very soon. And I'm just going to take a step out real quick. Re, 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 reevaluate, recalibrate, re energize, you know what I'm saying? Spit in the soul. No, I'm playing. I'm not going to be on no bullshit. But yeah, I'm just going to step out just for a short minute, give myself a little break. But salute to the people, man. Because they already doing the extra shit, man. They got the random other dude.